Hello guys and welcome to Mickey Mobile. Update 5.1 brought a couple changes that weren't uh, initially obvious from the Nationals and initial uh, game overview. And today we're going to go through all the shadow changes in the game. Well, maybe not all, but at least the ones that I've managed to uncover. If you have more, something that uh, I didn't cover in this video and something that you've noticed that is different, that wasn't mentioned before in patch notes, Please let me know in the comments if we get enough of those things, maybe we'll do part two for this video. But let's start with Shirayu Rayu Tower uh, gear rework. A lot of things have changed. It's not just the graphics of the gear, but it's actually the whole gear thing has, has changed. Let me tell you exactly what changed. So let's start with Spectre's Burning Vengeance. So right now on the screen, uh, you see on the left, the old description of the gear for the Fusion X stats. On the right, you see the new one. So, before it was 100% chance to apply fire and special attack to seven times per battle. Now, it's completely different. User deals additional damage to opponent's team and applies team fire on special attack five times per battle. Now, five, it obviously changes. It goes from probably one to five, depending on your fusion. But still, team fire versus fire is like insane buff it's ridiculous buff and even though it's now less times it went from seven to five it's still insanely powerful like very rarely you would be able to apply seven i would rather take five team fires for sure now the next thing uh before it was 20 to 40 percent chance to apply fire when blocking an enemy attack that is no longer the case. That ability was completely removed. Instead, 40% chance to gain half half a bar of power when opponent resists a debuff. That kind of sucks. Honestly, I liked uh, playing fire when blocking. So it's it, like the first part got ridiculously buffed. The second buff, uh, the second part got a little bit nerfed. Ah, uh, for Scorpion is the same. Fusion level X, where explodes into flames when defeated, dealing massive damage and applying fire to all opponents. That's what it used to be. What is it now? User explodes into flames when defeated, dealing 30% or 15% for bosses of maximum HP to all opponents. All opponents. Pretty sure before it wasn't percentage based. It was just flat damage. Now it's now it's percentage of your health. This is just insane. Do you realize if you have maxed out Spectre's Burning Burning Vengeance, how much easier it's going to be of max HP, not of the remaining of max HP. It's like Ermac deals ten percent for the whole enemy team of max HP. This thing, fifteen percent. It's like one and a half classic Ermics. Imagine giving this piece to classic Ermic. <laughs> oh my god. This is the most OP piece of gear for boss fights, in my opinion. It's just ridiculous. In my opinion, in total, in general, this piece of gear got way stronger. Even though one part of it got a little bit nerfed, the other things got buffed so much that overall... This is now way more powerful piece of gear than it, than it was. I hope I get a lot of these from the tower. I really do. All right, let's take a look at Champion and Chaku. Uh, on the left, uh, first was 10, 10 to forty percent chance to apply fire on basic attacks. That's what it was. Now, chance to steal five percent of the opponent's max power on successful basic combo attack. Five percent. What? Okay, that's a lot of power. That's definitely a lot of power. But you know what else this means? Fire God Liu Kang was ridiculously, ridiculously overpowered with this piece of gear. He would set you on fire with just attacks. He would set on fire, uh, like he would have Spectre's Burning Vengeance. He would just heal himself like crazy. Now he can't do that anymore. Now instead he's going to be stealing your power. Chance to gain random attack buff for 12 seconds upon stealing, upon special attack to use. So you're guaranteed to use a random buff for 12 seconds. Random attack buff. Whether before it was 300, 3200% damage boost against Outworld characters. <laughs> Which sucked. Honestly, horrible. Random buff. 
I, I would say it's better. It's much more versatile. Okay, that this one is definitely an improvement. First one... It's like... It, it, it was nice for yourself. Apply fire and basic attacks. Like, that's very OP. But I haven't been using it much, to be honest. When there is MK11 Scorpion... When MK11 Scorpion exists, this, this is not necessary. So... Yeah. Let's check out the max ability. Uh, upon stealing opponent's power, the user increases duration of all his active buffs for three, three sec. Let me get this straight. Chance to steal 5% on success. So basically, if you spawn basic combos and you have, for example, regeneration or shield. Okay, so let, let me get this straight. You, get, you have a shield going, right? And regeneration. And you just keep spamming basic attacks. And uh, every five basic attacks on average, you're adding three seconds to that shield. Oh, what? And before it was when a teammate takes in, Liu Kang throws dragon fire. That one was annoying. Once again, it feels like they nerfed the parts that the bosses exploit the most and actually give gave uh, people abilities that are actually useful for us, not for bosses, because these are active abilities. They changed passive abilities that are useful for bosses for active abilities that players will take advantage of. I'm impressed. In my opinion, once again, huge W for this piece of gear. Very impressed. Let's move to the next one. Edenian bracelets. Let's see if Edenian bracelets changed. 40% regeneration boost. This one is still here. Uh, for each bar of power acquired by the user while tagged in, 50% chance blind is applied to the opponent. Instead of this, this is gone. We got 25 to 50%. No, no, wait. We used to have 25 to 50% special 2 damage boost. Now it's 50% blind is applied to the opponent. So every time you get gain a bar of power, you get 50% chance to blind your enemy. This is so much better than just a simple damage boost for special 2. It's just so good. It's just so good. And Fusion X ability. Uh, so for Jade... Oh, I didn't even check the, the Scorpion ability and Liu Kang ability for previous ones. Well, I'll, I'll get back to it. Uh, so for Jade... Wait a minute. Was there no ability for the regular character? Huh. So before it was Jade once per match uh, avoids death by automatically taking out before the killing blow. Now? 30% chance user will... Uh, okay, it's the same. And applying team blind. So she doesn't. She just takes out and applies team blind. And for everybody else, with 30% chance user will automatically perform special attack 3 or fatal blow x-ray instead of special attack 1 against blighted opponents. Is this for real? What is this gear? Guys, Shirai Ryu Tower Gear is now the most powerful gear in the game. This is insanity. Twice per match. When, when you do special one, you will do X-Ray instead. For any character. This is insane. This is insane. I'm losing my mind right now. A Danian Force Rejection Field. Oh yeah, that's the only Brutality set that has two epic pieces for some reason. Uh, that That is weird, yeah. So, used to be 25 to 45... 45% max health boost. Now, health boost is gone, which is sad. I kind of like health boost in epic gear. Health is increased and restored by 20% after performing any successful special attack. What? So you can heal and increase your health pool by 20% after performing a special attack three times per battle. So you can add 60% to your health pool. And then if, the, if it's a character that has regeneration on them, some kind of additional regeneration, like Revenus Melina. Imagine this piece on Revenus Melina. You can heal her back to full and have extra 60% health from this gear, which is better than 45 that we had before. 
And it also heals every time you do. Oh my god. Before we had opponents affected by blind have 30-60% chance to also miss during special attacks. It's the same thing, but now it's higher. It's a higher it's it's a it's a buff. It's definitely a buff all around. Let's see maxed out ability. Uh 50% chance to reflect any debuffs back to an opponent. Team debuffs are not affected. Holy crap. So it was just resistance to debuffs, now it's reflect. So it's better. It's not just resisting, but it's also reflecting them. Why did they decide to absolutely boost, like, buff this gear? This wasn't even the weakest tower gear in the game. I, I always thought Shirai tower gear was pretty decent. And they buffed it now into oblivion. It's so OP now. Holy crap. All right, let's see. Spectre's Infernal Chains. Uh... So, 70% chance to drain 33 power on special one. Wasn't that... So, they reduced the chance to drain power on special one. Okay. Chance to avoid damage from opponent's special attack and apply fire. So, that's a new thing. No, actually, that's not a new thing. That's that's what used to be uh, the, the maxed ability. We used to have 50% chance... To be pulled back with the spear when tagging out. Oh, that's different. Do we still have that? Yes. So this part is exactly the same, but they also added an ability for everybody. User reflects 30% of avoided damage to the opponent. Oh boy. So that's avoided damage from opponent's special attack. You avoid damage and you apply fire. For the rare piece, this is rare piece, guys. And before we had fire damage boosts, fire damage boost is the same. I th no wait 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 wait. That's ex instead of fire damage boost. You evade damage and apply fire and special attacks. Okay, this is also buffed a lot in my opinion. Uh, let's check out champion leather braces uh, recovery boost now we have no recovery boost we have 40% opponent critical hit chance and little blow chance reduction that goes instead of 75% chance lethal blow immunity so it's only 40% and uh, only cr and both critical and lethal which in my opinion is better because lethal is doesn't happen very often gain regeneration gain regeneration upon tag in for 10 seconds that is not even fusion x ability you will get some regeneration okay this piece is going to be so good for crypts and survival i can't even tell you and that's instead of recovery boost which also was good for crypts and survival i don't know which one honestly in the end is going to be more useful but I feel like regeneration for 10 seconds, that's that's way OP. Maxed ability used to be 50% damage boost when wearer is affected by fire. Now it's 20% special attack damage boost per unique buff on the user. I feel like for Liu Kang, the old one was better. Yeah, I, th I think I think for this piece, overall, it doesn't feel like it's got weaker. It just changed a lot, but I I can't say it was really buffed a lot because it's like it's just different. Some things are better, some some things are worse, but it doesn't feel like it's super OP now. So I guess this one is kind. I'm kind of neutral on this one. Uh, Muramasa Blades, we used to have 25, 45% basic attack and blockable chance, that didn't change. Uh, used to be 20% attack boost, now it's 150% combo under damage boost. Which I don't think is good. And the max stability, chance block breaker and basic attacks deals additional 1% max health damage. What?! Oh, that is also powerful against bosses. This piece is so good against bosses now. Before it was 125% combo under damage boost against enemies affected by fire. Consuming the fire. Yeah, that's kind of... Uh, sucks. This The new one is way better. The new one is way better. Even though combo under damage boost is worse than 
just a pure attack boost in my opinion. The Fusion X ability is amazing. All right, let's see if they changed the uncommons at all. Oh my god, it is changed. It's completely changed. Before Fire Garden Bell was 20% chance critical hit chance boost. Now it's chance to apply fire and basic attacks. Holy crap, that's insane. For uncommon piece, that's crazy. Oh my god. And critical chance boost against enemies affected by fire versus 100% damage against enemies affected by fire. So instead of just damage, we get critical hit chance boost, which is better in my opinion, because it can trigger other things too. This is a definite buff. Let's check out the next one. We got Survivor Memories, uh, which I bet also changed a lot. Uh, it used to be resistance to fire, now it's basic attack damage boost, and now resistance to fire- Oh, wait, what? They switched the Fusion X ability and the regular ability. It used to be 50% basic attack damage boost for Fusion X, now that's resistance to fire on Fusion X, but basic attack damage boost on, on regular ability. Honestly, it makes sense. It makes sense. It, and it's very, very useful piece for facing some bosses that heal from fire, like Fire God Liu King! Uh, let's see, next we have Secret Scrolls. This one used to be toughness boost and user recovers health from fire instead of taking damage. Uh, yeah, this one, the toughness replaced by health, which is good. And the same for Fusion X, which is also good. I would say it's a buff as well. And final piece, we have trophy collection. Let's see how this, how did this change? Uh... Oh wait, I'm dumb. Trophy collection, that's nightmare. I, okay, never mind, we're done. This is all Shirai Ryu Tower gear changes. Every single piece get changed a lot, and most of them, if not all of them, for the better. So, I'm very happy with the changes. I think the buffs are crazy, and I'm looking forward to getting these pieces. And I'm probably gonna borrow somebody's account to check out some of the new maxed out abilities. Some of them sound like they can be exploited and cheesed into oblivion. Just a quick look. Do we have any changes for Nightmare Gear? Just just a quick look, I want to see. Nah, they didn't touch Nightmare Tower Gear. Okay, that's that's okay. Shira, why? I'm curious why they decided to buff it so much. To sell more of it? I don't know. Anyway, another change that you might have not been aware of. Uh, if you go to the store, and you go to free rewards, and you go to uh, watching the videos, you can see now there is a Nightmare Mystery Pack in the end of the watching ads, which does give you a chance on, of Nightmare Jason, Unstoppable Jason, or even Slasher Jason. So, might be worth it watching some ads, I don't know. If you feel like it's worth your time, then then if you want to get a Slasher Jason or uh, uh, Diamond Jason, Relentless Jason, it might be worth it. Anyway, guys. What do you think about the new Shirai Ryu, Ryu Ryu Tower gear? I think it's absolutely insane and I'm gonna grind it like literally as much as I can because it's it seems like it's now the most powerful gear in the game. Anyway, uh, subscribe for more and looking forward to your opinions in the comments. See you in the next one and goodbye.